1984 won't be like 1984. Get your iPod. iPod's here. You like your Macintosh. You like your Macintosh. Your Macintosh. Up, up. And the Macintosh. Okay, so we're at Plexo here. Um, so we're gonna go in it and, and see a little bit what's the fun place here to work with, to work at. Okay. This is our front entrance way. Welcome to Plexo. <laughs> and then on the left we have sort of a, a waiting area for anyone coming in who's waiting for a meeting. And the right Ooh. we just have some things we put up, some awards and oh. articles, those sort of things. Cool. That was kind of our first big article that ever came out. The New York Times. Yeah. Cool thing. Uh, there's a server room in there, but I think it's locked. Yeah. And here we have what we call Relaxo. Yeah. Everything at Plaxo ends in XO. So <laughs> this is where we do company-wide meetings. So today's a Tuesday, so we had our yeah. company update. Everyone came in here and we projected what was going on this week. Okay. Um, so you have big sounds over there. Yeah. You know, sometimes we'll have, uh, you know, on Friday, maybe a little party or movie okay. night, something like that. Cool. Um, conference room. Here we have our pantry. It's pretty empty because we're going to move out in a week or two, so it's running low. But normally this is stocked with all sorts of food. This here is what we call Snackso. <laughs> okay. And That's funny. Where you yeah. Can eat. And it's all cleaned up now, but this morning we had breakfast, we had waffles for everyone, and then uh, twice a week we bring in lunch so people can kind of sit around and, okay. and talk. So aren't there some guys staying here all day? <laughs> yeah, there are some, yeah. But so you have to watch out. Like, well, but they, if they're getting work done, it's good. Let's see, back here we have uh, customer support and operations. Okay. Hello. Hi. I'm waiting for the camera. And you're actually going to lunch with Rick, so. Hi. Hi. I'm Rick. Hello. We're just giving a tour of the office. Let's see. We have some of our business folks here doing partnerships and that sort of thing. Okay. About the data warehouse. Yeah, we need to do it well. So there are a little bit more uh, enclosed rooms than, than the, the big jungle of developers over there. Oh, right, because th those people are on the phone a lot, so okay. they like to uh, you know, not be too loud and, yeah. and stay together. Um, let's see, we've got our schedule coming up. As you said, uh, as you saw, we're shooting for a launch in a couple weeks. Uh, <laughs> we've got a couple releases we need to get out and do some press tour, and we also have to move yeah. <laughs> and then launch, so it's always whoa, very whoa, whoa. crazy. Um, Cool. You can see these are what we were doing the last couple releases. Yeah. So the big white, the big white board is actually the best way to go instead of having that on the computer. Well, we have it all online, but it's <laughs> nice to everyone can just take a look yeah. and see. And then this is our big open area yeah. where all the sort of product development happens. We have on the left we have QA and then web dev. But they're mostly out and about over here. Okay. Um, the PM team. Cool thing. Then we have more engineering here, more of the server engineering. See, a lot of, of your guys has uh, those keyboards that I also use. Microsoft keyboards. Oh, the natural keyboards. The natural keyboards, uh -huh. yeah. I love them. Yep. We had an ergonomics consultant come in and help lower yeah. the desks and that sort of thing. Okay, that's, that's really important, yeah. So I'm thinking about the, those um, even better keyboards from Kinesis, you know, those uh, really ergonomic keyboards. Oh, is it like that? Yeah. yeah. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're even better. And so okay. some people, you know, are the best and whatnot. Okay. Uh, so this is the client team working the Outlook and okay. Mac software. <coughs> there's, Matt, uh, there's Drew from Mac mostly. And then oh. Back there. Um, this is Ben, our CEO. Hi. I was Hi. doing a tour of the office. So. Nice. Okay. Um, we have some offices back there, but I think the other interesting thing is we have a little entertainment area. Okay. We'll go to the office team and uh, show you that as well. What's this thing here? That, is it a live uh, 
user count or whatever? Uh, I think that's how many people signed up in some amount of time, and that's, you know, it depends on what time of day it is and how many people are signing okay. up for various pieces. You know, we look at, uh, you know, we get users from different parts of the service, so whatever is cool. relevant at that time. And then uh, here is the pool tournament. So, okay. Hong, who's right here, I guess you guys won. Hey. And Drew, who you saw yeah. earlier. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> more offices. There's some wireframes we were working on before. Some billing flow, maybe. Oh. Yeah, it's a little dark right now, but you can see... Uh, That's another part where some people stay the whole day. You're right, <laughs> people will stay late and play, and uh, let's see, a lot of people play pool. We actually have up here a pool camera. A pool can't camera? You can see it, so you can see down on the table from around the office what's uh -huh. going on. And um, let's see, I think we were just... A bunch of people stayed late the other night and playing Trivial Pursuit, totally cool. 80s edition, so... People like to stay and have fun and... You know, even, it's funny, even after a long day of work, people, yeah. you know, hang out together. So. What's that old typewriter over there? <laughs> you know, there are some people who, uh, you know, like to just collect old computers. We have some people in the office. We've got some, I don't know if we even have them all now, but um, we had some very, very old, you know, old Nintendo, an old typewriter. It's an old Apple back here. That's Atari. funny. We used to have them all arranged. Yeah. It's funny. Since when are you are you guys here? How long have we been here? Yeah, yeah. Um, about three years actually. Okay, cool. And so we're just going to move in about two weeks. Okay, and before you were in something smaller? Uh, it was smaller, but it was just down the street. Okay, cool. Okay, all right. Thank you. Great. Thanks. I'll start here. So basically, we have an all new online version of Plaxo. Okay. So it's a fully um, Ajax based. Whoa, it's totally different. It's completely different. <laughs> uh, you know, the big part is we have our contacts over here. Um, you notice people are Plaxo members. It has all of their contact information automatically there. Um, you know, so here's Hong, who won the pool tournament. He's a Plaxo member, obviously. Yeah. Got all of his information. Um, we put a lot of emphasis this time around on being able to very quickly go through a lot of contacts. So if I'm looking up someone, uh, I just, you know, filter it that way. I just type it in and then it shows up. And I can always get more information. Uh, we keep a full change history whenever someone changes their information, it updates automatically. Okay. Uh, their home and their work information. Um, we also have an all new calendar. We acquired a, a startup last year called HipCow. Um, five guys who have been working on online calendars, and so this is my upcoming view of what's going on today and what the weather's like. And here's my uh, my calendar, and uh, it actually pulls Flickr photos, so you can put whatever okay. you want there and customize it. That's the upcoming view, or you know, I can look at what's going on this month. So what's going on today? We had this, uh, you know, 10 a.m. our meeting, um, you know, day view, that sort of thing. Um, what's really neat, though, is what we call the sync dashboard, which shows you what you're syncing cool. with. So I'm syncing with currently, you know, Plaxo, obviously, but Hotmail, LinkedIn, Outlook, and Yahoo. And if I want to go and add a new place to sync with, then here are all the places that you can connect to. And so if I wanted to look up Google, I just click Google, yeah. and it asks me for my information, and I type it in, and it just synchronizes. Okay. And so, you know, it even tells me down here, the last sync I did with Outlook was 41 minutes ago. Yeah. Because um, it happened automatically. If I change anything here, it'll go to Outlook and vice versa. Um, and it also tell me, you know, at LinkedIn when I last synced, all that. And then I'd say a big new feature, as mentioned before, is what's going on in your address book. So these are people they didn't have to do anything, but you know, in the past, Plax has only done contact updates. So here's a person who has a new work address and it tells me that he moved. That's sort of the standard Plaxo, but now it also tells me, you know, here's a friend of mine, um, he uploaded some photos. And I can see, oh, he uploaded some photos. Now I can go and check out what he's been up to. Or, you know, uh, you know, their friend, uh, you know, they went sailing. So there are photos of her sailing or someone had a kid and yeah. it's up there. And it just all happens automatically. Um, 
and so we'll you know be expanding this with more and more sources, but just for now we only have a couple. But you can sort of see the power of it where you don't have to know about all these different sites, they just come in automatically. Okay. Cool. That's really cool. Okay, so thank you very much. We uh, look forward to using this version because it looks like way better than the current one. Yeah, it's, it's very different. It's very new. So yeah, okay.